Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This unboxing is from DP Clubs. They did send me these items for review, so thank you to DP Clubs. So first item is this border tape. So it's actually much wider than I thought it would be. So it's an adhesive sparkly thing. Like it's blue. It's beautiful. So how big is this supposed to be? Uh, does it say? It says it's supposed to be... Uh, I don't know. One roll. One roll. So, let's see. It's about... Two and a half centimeters wide. A little bit smaller than an inch wide. And... It's not that long. I could... It's about 92 centimeters long. Or about a little bit... It's about 36 inches. So this is about 3 feet wide. It's really pretty. So this is supposed to be possibly a way to frame a diamond painting. I'm not sure if it's long enough for me to frame. So if I said it was like 90, right? So it's 90. So 90 divided by 4. The 90 divided by 2 is 45. 45 divided by 2 is 22.5. So I would only be able to frame something that's maybe a 20 by 20 by 20 centimeter one. So, not sh yeah. So I'll have to, I'll have to, yeah. I might not be able to use this to frame anything, but it's really pretty and it is adhesive here and it does look like if you take off the white paper it's clear so clear right under there so yeah i would have to find a really small picture for this one or you know what what you probably could do is if you have one of those magnetic frame things you could use you could cut it in half and then like a 45 centimeter you know hold on so what I was talking about is one of like these frame things here. I'm wondering if you could put it on... I wonder if you could cut this in half. Like you could put it on top of here and use it to bling something like this up. So... And then you could use this as the, you know, when you're framing something, diamond painting wise. Yeah, I think that might work. Do I have enough for this size? What size is this one? I don't even remember. What size is this frame thing? So yeah, I have enough to do, to do this. So... Oh, this is my 16 centimeter one. I probably could do a 18 one. Yeah, I can barely do an 18 one. So I think, yeah, it would make a nice bling this up. I think that's my, what I might do. All right. So did I say this is $3.19? It comes in, like, I see right now there's like six different colors. I got this one in blue because I thought it would be pretty neutral. All right. And then I also got this other one here. This one, they were calling it a piggy bank, so I'm assuming you're going to be able to put coins in here. 
Here is the frame. Okay. And here's the diamond painting here. And then they give you these blocks. So I'm wondering, yes. So I'm wondering if you open this up here. I'm guessing the backing is supposed to come out somehow. All right, so there's box. <laughs> so ordinary toolkit except with some baggies. So here is the picture here. My guess is you're supposed to be able to put them on blocks like that and then put it over here and then you'll be able to put coins at the top here my guess that's my guess assuming this comes out okay it's it'll be something we figure out <laughs> And the, so, so there is this slot here to put some coins, my guess. So there's the background, and then here is the diamond painted part here. It's this bird here. And the symbols are all numbers here. There looks like there might be 19 colors. And this is $18.79 on the website. And the frame here is about 21 by 21 centimeters. And the part that you're diamond painting is about eh, 14 centimeters by, let's say, 13 centimeters. So, oh, here is 17, 18, and 19 here some special shapes and then some so those they look like primarily rhinestones some green blue more green there's actually a good chunk of colors on this here's some yellows reds and pinks purples some oranges and then some black here so I'm going to go and finish this diamond painting here and we'll put it together hopefully we can figure out what how to put this together and that's all I have for now so wait in case you don't remember I got that here and then this sparkly tape here and that's all I have for now so I'll see you later all right I'm back and well, I tried out that sparkly tape here, so I put it on the magnetic strip here. And I think it looks okay. It's it's a little bit too big for the magnetic strip, but I just kind of letting the the rest of it just overhang. I'm pondering if I like it before I put it onto the bottom here. But yeah, I did, like I said, I tested it out on this. It looks it looks pretty decent here. It's very very blingy here. And I just you know I just stuck it on there with the adhesive on there. I'm pondering if yeah if I should have cut it a little bit so that because this is a lot smaller, but it actually kind of works. It's kind of hiding the wood. So yeah, there's that. All right, and I finished the inside part of this here, the bird here. I did already seal this. I was actually going to record the finish of this last week, but then I, for, I was like, I have to seal it if I'm going to put it into the piggy bank thing. So, well, we'll see how it looks at the piggy bank. So this is up. Oh, my numbers are messed up there. 
Oh well. Huh, I just noticed that all my dates must have got translated to a number instead of a date, so I have no idea what date that is. Um, so there was 19 colors. One of them was a regular round drill, 15 were crystal rhinestones and three specials. Um, I did have to add some glue to this and this took me 39 minutes to complete. And it looks like I didn't bother. So gapping is not applicable. Drills were just normal and this is plastic. And the symbols were okay in the rendering. I think it looks okay. You can see what it is. You can see the birds here. It might end up being actually be too colorful, but I do really like this when the flowers use this, the special drills on them. So I'll say it's okay. So yeah, this took me 39 minutes to complete. And well, to complete that part here and let's put it together. I haven't even tried, so. <laughs> so we will try together. I just realized I should get some coins if this is a so went and got some coins because, yeah, I should get coins. So let's put this thing together here. Well, here's a use for sharp tweezers, right? Okay, so there's a piece of paper here. So what I'm guessing is I'm supposed to put this in here on blocks, right? So put it on blocks like that. So I guess I'll put the this on here first. And is that where it goes? Does it really matter? Higher? No. Yeah, let's just take it off and where it goes, it goes there, right? I'm standing up because I feel like I can see it better if I stand up. So. All right. Well, here's hoping. I'm gonna put it in here and put this back. And there you go. And let's try out the coin feature. Yes, I keep my coins in, in a old calcium bottle. So... Okay. See, I feel like the... Me putting that foam in the middle kind of like... Makes it fall onto the foam, my coins. So, so there's my coin piggy bank here with, with these flowers here. I actually think that worked out okay. Yeah, the actual foam, having that little gap in the foam actually helps it fall down a little slower instead of it going down in there. So now, and then I'm guessing to just take it out, I just have to take out 
the backing and take out the front and I should be able to have some coins, some piggy bank coins in there. So yes, here is another different thing to Dom and Paint. Did, never would have thought this of this. So kudos to the folks thinking about what else can we possibly diamond paint because let me tell you, the list is getting bigger. <laughs> all right, that's all I have for today. So thank you very much to DP Clubs for sending these items for review and thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.